I am kind of quarantining even from my own family in my in-laws bedroom which is being unused except for me for the next week might as well make the best of it and so I have busted out my 1932 Leica 2 and I am going to photograph this room my environs during quarantine I have more cameras and more photography to share with you, so please go ahead, hit subscribe right now, and then watch the video. This is the 1932 Leica II Model D. It began its run in 1932 and had a run up to 1948. There were 52,000 Leica IIs made, um, and then later models had a few variations. This was the first camera with an inbuilt rangefinder. In 1932, this camera would have cost someone 22 pounds, which was the equivalent of $30. In today's dollars, is about 450 US dollars, which I think is incredible for something that was so innovative, so precisely engineered and designed, and for at the time, absolutely tiny. So these early Barnack cameras are all screw mount cameras, and the lenses are collapsible. An interesting aspect about the Leica IIs is that they did make four gold-plated models, the Luxus. The only existing copy known sold recently at auction for $627,000. The other three are missing. I'm keeping my eye out. This particular copy has a serial number from the first year of production, and it's in what I would call very good condition. The, the paint is, is, is good, very good, I would say. And the brassing is fairly limited, and in fact, just enough that I like it. One of the reasons I like this camera is because of the nickel and the black paint and the brassing, it looks like something that's straight out of Captain Nemo's submarine. The lens that came with this camera when I bought it, which I believe to be original, is an Lights Elmar 50 millimeter F3.5. Its serial number dates it in 1931, and I believe that this lens has always been paired with this camera. It is the 11 o'clock version, and as you can see, I have an Argus yellow filter on it to prevent the lens from getting scratched. It is an uncoated lens, and it appears to be in really excellent condition with no major scratches or anything, and we'll see how the images come out here. There were supposedly 52,000 of the Leica II made, and in the first year, this would, with this serial number, this would be about 11,000 in that first year. And yet with a run up to 1948, which is 12 years, production obviously sold, slowed during certain periods. World War II would be a good reason and the Nazi party taking over Germany. I think it's gonna be interesting. I'd like, I'd like to do some more research into what happened to lights and like the, during the wartime years. I know they made some wartime cameras specifically for uh, the military in Germany at the time and the Nazi party but I'm curious to see how their production was affected and how the company itself was affected. So the shutter speeds aren't in the intervals that we're quite used to. Uh, it goes from 20 to 30 to 40 to 60 to 100 to 200 to 500. And the same goes for the f-stops on the lens, which goes from 3.5 to 4.5 to 6.3, 9, 12.5 to 18. Let's get to work.
focus lock is in the way of the viewfinder. That roll went really quick. Let's pop this roll of film out. But that was my time in quarantine with the Leica 2. Not the most convenient film rewind, but considering this is such a really prototype 35 millimeter camera in the end, it's okay. I think what I enjoyed the most in this was the shots of the bathtub. I know that sounds funny. So that's it. I'm in quarantine. I have a roll of film that needs to be developed. I feel good. Quarantine's a bummer. I'd like everyone out there to please be safe. Take care. And hope to see you again later. I'm Todd Macon. This is Film Camera Obsessions.